Hey everyone, this is Lisa Truesdell for Studio Calico, and I'm here today to share a technique using the circles mask from our Sundrifter line. This mask has a background of circles, and then it has several smaller shapes with icons and words inside them. Since these little circles pop out, the mask is really versatile. You can use the background alone, or the small shapes alone, or you can nest them together for a different look. First, we'll go ahead and use them together. When I'm misting a large mask like this, I hold the mist about 8 inches away and spray several times over different parts of the mask. That way the mist will be even on my background. This is how it looks when we do it all in one color, but next we'll be making it a little more interesting by using different colors of mist over each icon. I'm using a subtle hexagon pattern from the Here and There line as the background of this page. I'm planning to use the mask on the left side of the page and then stack my photo and journaling along the right. Before I mist, I'll grab my photo and just check that the placement will be okay with where the mask is. I don't want any mist to go outside of the masked area, so I went ahead and got some scrap cardstock and I'll use it to cover the rest of the background. I keep all of my odd sized pieces of cardstock with my misting box, so I always have it on hand when I need it. I'll be using a lighter blue color here. This one is Splash from the Sundrifter line. Since I'll be adding other colors over the top, I need to choose a pale color here. This is a really fun technique to do with the shine mist as a base, but I thought I'd try it with this aqua since the shine doesn't show well on video. The next step is to mist each of the icons in a different color. When you're placing them on your background, keep in mind where you'll be adding your photo, you don't want to add the masks where they won't be seen. I didn't use any adhesive for this video, but I found that using a temporary adhesive on the smaller and more detailed icons helps you to get a clearer image when you're misting. We'll be misting these from a pretty close range, about three to four inches, and spraying just one time. This will be a really concentrated spray, but the color will still go a little bit outside of our circle. If you want to keep the color to just one circle, grab some more cardstock and mask off everything around it before you mist. Now it's time to finish off my page. I went ahead and added borders at the top and bottom and did some journaling with my typewriter. I placed some wide chevron washi tape from the Spencer scrapbook kit above my journaling and added a stamped sentiment from these snippet stamps to one of the misted circles. The washi tape will act as a base to a stack of other elements that will help balance out this side of the layout with the misted side. I'll start with a piece of polka dot pattern paper from the here and there 6x6 pad and then I'll add my photo on top. I'm tilting each element slightly. I like the energy it brings to my page. I'll be using a die cut sentiment from the Sundrifter collection for my title and adding a little die cut label as an accent off to the side of my photo. The misting does a great job of adding interest to the background of this page, but I wanted to take it a step further by adding some dimension as well. Placing embellishments on the misted circles gives them a home on the background and keeps them from looking like random floating elements. I'm adding a die cut piece and a wood veneer shape and then I'll bring in some of these arrows from the snippets line to help draw the eye right to my photo. I like to step away from my page for a bit before I finish it. I find that when I come back, I can see what's missing. When I came back to this one, I decided to add another wood veneer element, which creates a nice triangle on the layout. I also felt like the space above the photo was a bit awkward. So I grabbed a basic shipping tag and I'll cut it down and add it to help fill that space. This creates a perfect place to add a stamped date. My last step on any project is to add the littlest elements. Small accents like enamel dots or sequins can really help a design feel more complete and I love the texture that using different materials together adds to a page. In this little area, I've used paper, washi tape, wood veneer, enamel dots, chipboard, and sequins, and I love how they look together. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. I hope I've inspired you to pull out your Mr. Hueys and masks and give this a try. For even more ideas and inspiration, visit Studio Calico at www.studiocalico.com.